How's it going guys? Tactics HD here in episode 68 of my HL14 Hockey on the Team Road Glory series. In this first game here, guys, I'm actually in a wager match against Don't Be Sod. And uh, chronologically, this is actually before our uh, high invitational games. Now you guys can see we're up one nothing there with a Kessler goal. And then right there, put a shot on net with Cromwell. That actually bounced in. I think Zetterberg might have tipped it. Making it a 2-0 game. Then right here, halfway through third period, he put one in, making it 2-1. So I thought he was going to come back. But luckily, able to hold on to the win. So just like the high invitational games, we actually beat Sod uh, for the third time, 2-1. So three very close games. Luckily got the better of them. Uh, he gave me 35k there, 25k for the wager, and 10k for winning our March Madness bracket pool. If you guys see uh, UTP or It's Kane 88, let them know they owe me 10k because I won that March Madness bracket pool and uh, they have yet to pay up. But anyway guys, uh, right here we're going to another game. This is just a regular uh, seasons game. So we've been playing pretty well here and uh, trying to keep it going unfortunately right there. Five minutes and he snipes one on us, making it one nothing. Then a little bit later, half through the first period, puts another one in there with a the pass to Taves, making it two nothing. Luckily, right here, Gabrick splits a D, and uh, he takes control of the goalie. So when I, whenever that happens, I usually just go to the backhand, hold it, and uh, get an easy goal. So got to two one there. Five minutes left in the third. I thought we were still in it. Unfortunately, he gets a goal there on the PK, making it three one. Luckily though, right here, right after that, Myers just comes in, throws one on the net. I was actually trying to go for the pass, ended up just squeaking behind the goalie. And then right here, Datsuk. Um, magic hands right there, tying it up at three apiece, went to overtime, and then right there, you guys can see, nice play by Stahl, grabbing that one with one hand on his stick, uh, pulling it back to his forehand, pointing it in, so, uh, I gotta respect that last goal, and, uh, luckily at least we got one point in our first game of Division 1, so, 0-0-1 in Division 1, uh, not too bad a start, uh, 4-3, a 4-3 loss, so, close game nonetheless. Our next game here, guys, is going up against Cash Truck, I think his name was, and as you guys can see, nice move there, splitting our D, uh, gets by Howard there. Makes it one nothing. Then no goals in the second. Into the third period here, you guys can see uh, Couture is just going to hit Kessler there. And it actually cut out, and uh, I ended up losing that game 2 nothing For whatever reason, my uh, uh, recording, HTPVR, just stopped recording. I don't know what it was. Also, you guys could see, I sold uh, Team of the Year Chias in there. Wasn't a huge fan of him, quite slow, even though his stats are really good. Picked up a Team of the Week Bobby Bryan, and picked up a Team of the Week Zetterberg to replace the regular Zetterberg. Of course, Ryan will be replacing uh, Team of the Year Chias in. So, uh, we're now 0-1-1 in uh, Division 1, so hopefully we can get our first win here. And as you guys can see, uh, he scored first. Happy through the first period, they're making a one nothing. Nice move there from Hall, loses the puck, then gets it back, steals the puck from the goalie, tying up a one apiece. Now half through the uh, third period, you guys can see, pass one up front to Kessler, making it 2-1, and we lost that game. So another very close game. As you guys can see, look at that. 18 shots, one goal, 6 shots, 2 goals. I mean, you can say rammed, I think, on that game. Uh, I think we were, probably should have got our first win there, making it 1-1-1, one, one, but what are you going to do? Uh, in your next game, we're going up against Swept Mushrooms 92, so... Uh, still looking for that first win in Division 1, and as you guys can see, uh, right there, I think that was Kessler for him getting a goal, making it 1-0, no scoring in the second, early third period here, he throws one out to Kopitar, puts that one with a wrist shot from the slot, making it a 2-0 game, then right here, he's got the 3-on-1, and just uh, bing, bang, boom, puts it to Kopitar there, making it 3-0, then right here though, luckily, kept, uh, sorry, Kessler gets behind the defense, makes it 3-1, still in this game, Helm here, uh, on her penalty kill, finds Datsuk, Daxic's not going to get bumped off that puck. Puts it in there, making it 3-2. Still five minutes left in the game. Uh, he puts another one in there, though, making it 4-2. So we're trying to hang into this one. Couture is going to grab this puck, go behind the sliding defender, find Ryan there, making it 4-3. Unfortunately, though, uh, that was the last score of the game. So another really close game. Unfortunately, we lost that one. I think he put one in late, uh, making it 5-3. So uh, tough, tough loss there again, but at least we're staying competitive. And, I mean, it's Division 1 with the top division. Obviously, we want that Division 1 title as uh, one of our accolades for Road to Glory, but... Unfortunately, we're having a pretty tough time here. Uh, all close games, though, so hopefully, you know, we can get lucky, get a couple wins. As you guys can see in this game, uh, down 2 nothing now, 5 minutes left in the second period, so gonna try to mount a comeback here, and right there, that was a bad play by me going for that hit. He actually scores there with, like, a second left in the second, so that was tough to swallow, and then right here, though, uh, end, end of the third, Kessler just splits the D. Uh, he cut his uh, stick hacked out a couple times, didn't care, still scored the goal, and then right there, Kessler finds Hall for another one, making it 3-2. Just not enough time left, though, I think there was, like, a minute and a half left, and we were able to score the two goals, and unfortunately, couldn't actually get that third. I'm pretty sure he actually messaged me after, saying, like, uh, good try to come back. I'm pretty sure it was sincere, so uh, that was a close game again. Like I said, unfortunately, just getting unlucky, getting in uh, really close games here, and uh, unfortunately, just can't pull out the win. So, here, guys, a bunch of St. Louis players I sold. I think I forgot to include me uh, making a St. Louis collection, unless I did in the last episode, but uh, not too bad a collection to do. Obviously, Petrangelo is going to cost you the most. Then there's some, like, mid-price uh, range players like Bacchus and Oshi, but overall, you're probably not looking at more than uh, about 250k, so uh, it's a pretty good uh, collection. I think you get 39k, 36k for it. So the only collections I actually have left to do are Detroit, Pittsburgh, and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay I should be able to do uh, just by getting the Stamkos. Detroit and Pittsburgh, though, will be much tougher. 
If I had a regular dancing in the regular Zetterberg, I definitely could, but unfortunately, uh, you know, I don't, so I'll have to see what we can do. But anyway, guys, uh, this game here, up to nothing, and uh, I was talking too long, and that was the final score, so we finally got a win. And uh, this wasn't actually a season games though. This was an elite playoff game, so still haven't won. I got a win, win in Division One, but we did get that elite playoff win, so that's good. Starting us off, only three wins away now from the elite playoff championship. So going in the second round here, looking to uh, continue this winning way. And as you guys can see, beginning of the first period here, he just gets a goal there with the cross crease, making a one nothing. And then right there, uh, Ryan gets pushed up on the puck. This goes behind the defender between the legs on that goalie on the backhand. Nice goal there, making it one one. Then right here, Gabrick finds Johnson. He puts that one top right hand corner from the slot. Making a 2-1 game, and then right here, guys, just after that helm, goes to the corner, he does the dirty work, finds Datsuk out front, making it 3-1. to one. And then right here, guys, half the second period, Zetterberg on the breakaway, puts that backhand behind his goalie, making it 4-1. And I think after that, he might have quit, actually. Uh, I think he did, yeah, he quit, so he wasn't having that, and uh, we got that game uh, won. So, two more games left here, trying to win those elite playoffs. I think the farthest we've made it is the third round. So this is this will tie us for the farthest we made it. I don't think we made it to the championship yet of the elite playoffs. And as you guys can see right there, uh, no goals in the first half. The second gets the cross crease to Carter, and then right there we tied up with Cronwell. Just a huge slap shot there, uh, putting it top right hand corner, making it one one. Unfortunately though, right here he uh, skates in this slot with Marlow and uh, puts one in, making it two one. Then right there throws one in net. Uh, my goalie auto plays it right to him, and makes it three to one. And if we lost by one goal, I was gonna be pretty upset, but. Uh, because we never got another goal, I guess it's a fair, fair loss there. So uh, it was pretty rough. I thought we could maybe we got the elite playoff championship there. We were playing pretty good hockey, and unfortunately, just uh, a couple too many mistakes. So right here, guys, going up again, another game. Uh, this time against the Boot Three, and I think this is our second try at the elite playoffs. So I'm uh, gonna try to get this win and try to you know mount another elite playoff run. And as you guys can see, down one nothing. He puts one in here. Uh, kind of a weird goal, like hit off Van Reebs, like both of his legs, went to his stick, then put it in, making it two nothing. Luckily though, Hall finds Bergeron there. Giving us some life, making it 2-1. Then right there, Hall gets to Kessler, who finds Datsuk, making it 2-2. So our top two lines playing really well, especially our power play. And then right there, Myers, huge slap shot, gets tipped by one of the, his own defenders, I think. Making it 3-2. Then right there, Zetterberg circles back, finds Datsuk. Datsuk is always out front there, just waiting for that pass. Makes it a 4-2 game. Then right here, guys, 2-1-1. On Hall, nice deek, waits, finds Kessler, makes it 5-2. And then right here again, Hall feeding Datsuk on the breakaway. Goes to the backhand. Makes no mistakes, makes it a 6-2 game. So right here though, uh, you guys can see a little bit of time left. He gets a goal there with Kessel, making it 6-4. Uh, I think I might have forgot to show one of his goals. And uh, right there, Datsuk puts another one in, making it 7-4. So I think Datsuk got another hat trick. And uh, sorry guys, it was actually a Division 1 game, not an elite playoff game. So finally got a Division 1 win. Uh, no chance of uh, the Division 1 title, but basically we're just playing it for our lives right now. Hoping that we don't get relegated. As you guys can see, Datsuk, 4 goals and an assist for 5 points. He's just been playing outstanding for me. So uh, right here guys, uh, going to another game against I Just Beasted You, I think his team was. And uh, right here guys, Datsuk splits 2 D-men, finds Hall, snipes that one top left hand corner, making it one nothing. Then right here... Uh, on a penalty kill, unfortunately, gets the goal there. Beginning of the second period, tying up a one apiece. And then right here in our zone, beginning of the third period, he's going to get a goal there with Alfredson, making it a 2-1 game. And then right here, guys, Zetterberg behind the defense, and he just gets him caught, and then goes back in there on Rene, tying it up a two apiece. And then right after that, Hall here, nice between the leg move, feeds Datsuk, just beauty goal there. Uh, a little bit of tic-tac-toe, and uh, makes it a 3-2 game. So big win there, and I think that was another playoff win. I think I was a little bit premature on the last one, saying that was a playoff win, so... Uh, we are trying to mount that elite playoff uh, title. One win under our belts, three more to go. And of course, you know, we're on a bit of a winning streak now, two wins in a row. Unfortunately, though, right there, we're going to go down early with St. Louis' goal, making it 1 nothing. And then right here, guys, St. Louis gets another one on us, making it 2 nothing. Still five minutes into the first period. And then right here, pretty much right after that, he puts another one in, making it 3 nothing. So down 3 nothing in about five minutes. Never good. No goals in the second. Right there, though, beginning of the third, puts another one in, making it 4 nothing. So this game's just not going our way. Nothing's really working. Right there, St. Louis, I think, completes the hat trick, making it 5 nothing. So, rough game for us. I think he put one in with, like, 20 seconds left. And as you guys can see, 13 shots for us, no goals. He had 29 for 6. So, really not a good game, offensive or defensive-wise. And uh, right here, guys, going to the last game of the episode. It's just another uh, Division One game. as We got eliminated from the Elite Playoffs, unfortunately, but we'll try again another time. And as you guys can see, I'm using my 20K team, and this was actually... Uh, to allow Ben Bishop to get unfatigued, I wanted to use him against uh, Sod in the uh, High Invitational, so that's why I was using this team. So, if you guys didn't check that out, make sure you do. And as you guys can see, they're playing pretty well for Division 1 game. We were up 2 nothing there, it's now 2-1. Uh, he gets a nice deep there, throws that puck on net, gets a lucky bounce to Bergeron. Tied up a 2 apiece, still in the first. And you guys, you can see a slap shot there, makes it 3-2. So, we had that 2-goal lead, lost it just in the first period. Kind of a crazy game. Right there, he puts one in with Parise. 
making it 4-2. Now, five minutes left in the third period. Nice move from Stassi there. Gets behind the D right on the blue line. I don't know how he kept it in. Made it 4-3, unfortunately. Just another really close game that uh, we let get out of hand. So I think we have to win our next three in a row to stay in Division 1. Uh, it's probably unlikely, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can stay in Division 1 and uh, make another uh, cha uh, make another attempt at that title. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Thanks for watching, guys. See you more. Have a nice day. Goodbye. It's the kind of beat the gold.